Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Woo! Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Mike's a little hot. Anyway. Anyway. Hello. Greetings. Salutations. Shalom. Shalom to thee. How do you do? Welcome, ladies and germs, to the Cartoon Dumpster, a weekly gathering of very special people who uh, share a love of uh, classic animation, uh, weirdness, hot riffs, and uh, weirdly specific alternate canons to uh, forgotten children's cartoons. Seeing a lot of uh, familiar names in the chat. Happy to see people. Sinistro, Heavenhound Doberman, Farstar, One Hypnotic, Rummy Slutman, Brian Moss, Avril Anda Sanders, Justin, Kane the Citizen, Jordan Crozier, Torgo1985. I am happy to see everybody. Grapes in the chat from Mr. Owl. Sean's here too. Jennifer is there. Oh my God. So <laughs> I did not Reeves. I did not get anyone special. Honestly, the last stream was so uh, amazing. It was so amazing that honestly, it's, it's kind of nice. I feel like that was, it put me in the right mindset to say goodbye to vampires this week. I feel like knowing that even the people who made it acknowledge what a weird little monster of a show they created and nobody was taking it seriously. Uh, it just made it all, I, I don't know, it gave me, it gave me a clear conscience. It gave me a, a, a just a nice sense of being. Uh, obviously your predictions for what's gonna happen in the finale, um, I think they're going full end of Evangelion. I feel like Nuke is going to visit Rev in the hospital and do something nasty. I feel like Axel is going to get torn apart by production motivators. I feel like uh, everybody is going to... Uh, the human instrumentality project's going to happen. And everybody's going to turn into motor oil in the end. I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like a giant naked trucula is going to emerge over the planet and little uh, va vampire B the V's are going to explode all over the continent. I, I got a lot of predictions. Um, <laughs> Van Hilsing is going to give uh, Snap an adult kiss and promise to do the rest later. Oh, shit. Let's see, we got, oh, we got the first super chat. Thank you, Abrand, uh, Avril and Sanders. Uh, donated $5 through super chat. And what you did is uh, you put $5 towards Mighty Max being the last cartoon we watched this week. That's right, I'm splitting the difference. Now the power is in your hands. For every uh, Streamlabs donate, you can check the donate link over there in the description. Every uh, dollar for through Streamlabs goes towards Captain Simeon closing us out. And every uh, super chat goes towards Mighty Max. I thought it would be, I just saw that I can finally keep count of both. And that's the game this week. That's how, that's how this is uh, panning out. Um... Maybe, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I just made the people that were going to donate because they're nice be like, well, I was, but I fucking hate Mighty Max, so screw you, Jared. Who knows? I want to, I don't know. I just wanted to give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's the plan. That's how that works. We're going to, it's, it's uh, my own weird take on the money pit. I think, no, not even, not even a little. The one hypnotic. I don't know who could hate Mighty Max. Not sure. But they might exist. They might exist. 
Um, also, fair warning, it's been a while since I talked about my puppet butthole, but uh, I ate uh, a weird, wet, microwavable veggie bowl as part of my keto diet. That was my dinner. It was, I think it was like the Healthy Choice Power Bowl. And it was just a, a lot of cauliflower, just wet microwaved cauliflower with like two bits of chicken in it. And I don't know what that's gonna do to my body. I mean, the fact that I'm eating vegetables at all is a, uh, is a, is a terrifying, hey, enjoy your ZOA. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Enjoy your ZOA. Okay, okay, it's already, already things are happening. Enjoy your ZOA, Jenna, and enjoy your ZOA, Mixic. Uh, Jenna says, currently in mourning for our beloved vampires. Enjoy your ZOA. Uh, rest in pasta pepperoni. And uh, Mixic says, vampires never got its day in the sun. If it did, then they disintegrate. Give me also, also give me those monkeys. All right, all right, the gauntlet has been thrown. Right now, Captain Simeon is in the lead. But will it last for long? That's up to you, the viewers. But uh, let me turn off these generic yet catchy chip tunes and let's get going to our first episode of the night. Oh, Torgo fighting back through Super Chat. Here lies vampires, pepperoni, and cheese. <laughs> Uh, Jordan, oh, hold on. We're still talking about keto meals, which is deeply of interest to me. Uh, my friend, keto meals look amazing, but I can't handle the portion sizes. Plus, I live off carbs. It's a no-go. I made some lovely salmon croquettes last night. I used uh, almond flour and canned salmon and just the every spice I had in the house. And uh, I was, I was, it was delightful. Fried them in butter. Mmm, delicious. And then a little uh, side salad with blue cheese dressing. Nice, easy, quick. Didn't even miss it. Whatever. I got to lose 10 pounds by the end of the month. But that's not here or there. That's a flesh concern. Puppet Jared stays perfectly slim, perfectly uh, lean. Plus, I don't, I, with all this leg weight, I don't have to worry. I, I don't get all this, all this uh, leg weight I'm, I'm, I'm free of. Uh, how Aqua Lungman says, interested in keto, but worried uh, how you made it work. Uh, uh, you just do. Uh, the transition is hard. Your body literally fights against you the first two weeks. Like, you feel like you might be dying. Uh, but then it clicks, and all of a sudden, like, you're, you're burning, like, your actual fat instead of Doritos. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling everybody if I hit my weight goal. Anyway, let's go over to the TV time because it is TV time. Oh shit, shit, I forgot. Uh, this is Van Helsing. You guys got it wrong during the stream. This is Van Helsing. This was Van Helsing all along. Max Baker, don't bother him. I swear to God, if any of you weirdos actually like a, like make any contact with him, even positive, and it comes back to me, I will, like, shut this whole thing down. I will attack you. But uh, in case, in case, hey! Kane the Citizen donating $5 on behalf of the monkey team. Enjoy your Zoa, Kane the Citizen. Enjoy your Zoa. Um, but uh, here, witness. Witness him in real time. It is 100% Van Helsing. The new case. The big score. With Keanu. What have you been waiting for? Humor me. Don't I always? <laughs> it's him. It's the guy. Much obliged. Thank you. How you feeling, John? In a major motion picture, no less. Uh, bullet shavings from the assassination attempt on the Pope. Holy water ampules from the... He was actually British. It wasn't just a weird voice. Yeah, it's a scene from Constantine. Yeah, it's funny to you, but to the fallen, that's like nails on a chalkboard. What is 
isn't exactly the rule, folks. Right? Like, I'm happy for him. Yeah. He made a, he, he's in things. He did things. He's an actor. Yeah, easy there, hero. It's dragon's breath. Oh no, amigo! You gotta fight the devil, Co John Constantine, amigo! It's a real five alarm cadoodle, man! So, uh, what's the action? I just pulled a soldier duty on a girl. <laughs> Wait, Kane, you watched this less than a month ago and you didn't recognize him? Or are you, like, kind of new to this and you're not as invested in the Van Helsing mystery? Always. Well, they can work us, but they can't come through onto our plane. Check the scrolls anyway, see if there's any precedent. Sure, John. Uh, anyway, there it is. Mystery solved. There he goes. Yeah, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, it is a lateral move, the one hypnotic. <laughs> he probably used his vampire's experience to help his performance in Constantine. Anyway... Uh, as is a newfound tradition to get the hype rolling, um, I'm going to, we're going to start with Saber Riders and the Star Sheriffs, uh, a bop par excellent. And uh, when we last left our heroes, they saved an iguana. I don't know what the future brings, but I am excited to see where we're, what's going to happen in this exciting episode of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. <laughs> I know. In today's exciting episode, the Star Sheriff thank a special friend. Fireball searches for him but finds only trouble. Saber Rider tracks him to the enemy camp, where an ex-gunslinger frees the boy. But can he be saved from the evil Viper on? Don't miss this exciting adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriff. Avril? Avril? Abrell and Dill Sanders, as much as you are tempted to do designs for this show, I, as, as a fellow internet person, just do something with more cultural cash. Don't do anything for your own sake. Make, just figure out whatever the idiots are talking about on social media and join in the cacophony. It's the only way to get ahead. Thank you for the, the super chat, Sinistro. Doing a stream of my own in a bit, so I can't stay. As we oh. sailed above the new frontier, none of us suspected uh, drop a... soon we find ourselves on the legendary Ferry of Night. I would love to watch one of your streams, man. Keep a sharp eye out. Well, what are we looking for, Saber Rider? Cavalry Command said the Outriders have started a major offensive campaign against Planet Pecos. So, let's see if we can pick up anything on the Ramrod census. Even the buffalo are running scared. Well, Space buffalo. Star sheriffs, I know. It's the outriders who be the ones to turn tail and run. Yeah, we'll round them up and move them out. Saber Rider, look. Yes, I see it, April. One of the homesteaders may be in trouble. Well, let me take a look around. If there are any outriders, I don't want to miss the action. Hey, don't think you're gonna leave this cowboy behind, Parker. quite a start that almost looks like a real gun you got there little hombre my name is miguel hello miguel <laughs> we're star sheriffs <gasps> then you can help us to stop the outriders 
is Miguel, is the actor doing Miguel trying to do some kind of accent? Is that, is that a thing? Or, or, is he, or is he just doing like a little kid voice? Because if it's not, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, that's the whole idea. I think we better take you home, kid. Now, where do you live? I'm not telling. Come on now, your parents must be worried about you. Mm -mm. It's dangerous playing with a toy gun that looks so real. Outriders might think you're serious. Now, where do you live? In a cabin. Oh, that absolutely is a real gun in the Japanese version, isn't it? <laughs> the way they... Hey, Brian Moss. Um, $10 towards... Uh, Enjoy your Zoa. Towards the, five, the Foot 5 Fund. Ah, nice, nice, nice. I see Captain Simeon has a more hardcore base as of now. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Okay, Miguel. We're being introduced to Miguel. Lovely Miguel. Cool Miguel. The child with a not real gun. You know it's not a real gun because they keep saying how not real it is. Shouldn't your family be at the outpost for protection? My father never leaves his cabin. He doesn't like to deal with strangers on account of he's got a lot of secrets. I know the feeling, kid. He sounds like a hard case. Yeah, so it's no use talking to him. You taking me home now? Not with that toy shooting iron. <sighs> I'm sorry. Even a toy gun can be real dangerous. Now let's take off. Whoa! This is a really neat ship. Yeah, ramrods one of a kind. <laughs> Are all you guys star sheriffs? <laughs> all but April. You mean she's not a star sheriff? I mean, she's not a guy. She helped build Ramrod. So she's in charge. No, Saber Rider's the team leader. Think he'd let me join up? Maybe when you're a little older. Now, where's your cabin? It's right down there. Can you see it, Saber Rider? Yes, quite clearly. Uh, Heaven Hound Doberman. Oh, no, is this uh, it can't be racist, because maybe that's just how space Mexicans sound. You, di you didn't think about that. You didn't think about that. Maybe this is a highly accurate space Mexican child accent that he's using. Maybe you should leave now. I told you he doesn't like strangers. Not to worry. I'm sure he'll speak to us. Father! There you are, Miguel. Where have you been all this time? We found him off in the hills hunting for outriders. What? Yeah, I used my toy gun. You'll be punished for that. <laughs> but somebody's got to fight the Outriders. Go easy on him. It was a dangerous thing to do, but he was just trying to help. Now you just stay out of this, stranger. Oh, Boys, that is Rob be... Paulson doing a terrible accent. <laughs> Listen here, hombre. We don't take kindly to you in Space Mexico. You're making a mistake. Come on, Miguel. Get inside. Now, you, all of you, vamos! You know, partners, he looks familiar. Like I've seen him before. There's not time to look into it right now. <laughs> the Outriders may attack at any moment. <laughs> right, Top Sword, we're out of here. Distress call to Star Sheriff. Come in. Yes, April. The Frontier Outpost is under fire. That's our cue, fellas. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I love little nubbin missiles. You know it's a good show when there's little nubbin missiles.
interesting how they're um, reusing a lot of the Sakuga shots from earlier episodes. It feels like this is, it feels like this one's maybe a placeholder or like they're like, you know, they blew their wad on iguana animation in the last one. <laughs> Or the you know just like they 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 laid the groundwork in the in the pilot and like the introductory episodes and now that you're invested they're going to be cutting more corners but still still so much of those quick shots are so good. I'm afraid there was quite a bit of damage, sir, but we got here as soon as we could. And I can't thank you all enough for that. You really saved the day. Unfortunately, Planet Pecos is very strategically located. Oh? Yes, they're sure to return, Captain. They always do. Yeah, you're in a bind. You got any idea where their base is? Yes, Captain. If we knew where they were hiding out, we could beat them to the draw. Sorry, I don't have a clue. We've got to find it. Right. We have word that the Outriders are building a high-powered renegade unit to finish the job they've started here. I sure hope you can locate it. We'll try. We've evacuated most of the local folks, but there's still one who just won't move. He lives on the Rattlesnake River with a boy named Miguel. Uh, he used to be a hired gun. He did some bounty hunting, too. Bounty hunting? I knew I'd seen that <laughs> sidewinder somewhere before. They say he was one of the best. But then, well, he got mixed up with the robot wranglers. Then he might know where the Outriders are hiding out. It can't hurt to ask him. The guy isn't exactly the Boy Scout type. But it's worth a try, huh? I guess you're right. If we're gonna stop that renegade unit, we'll need all the information we can get. Meanwhile, at Innocence... Hey, look at that! <laughs> huh. That water runs really quick! What are we here? <laughs> Weird cut. <laughs> Run, Miguel! Run from... These very elaborate troopers. Heller Shanks, you're whenever you arrive, you're right on time. <laughs> Don't move. Quick, father, get your vapor blaster. Vapor blaster. I don't oh. know what you're after, strangers, but whatever it is, you. <laughs> When Miguel had a toy gun, but everyone else is carrying real vapor blasters. God, God, standards and practices was, a, was weird. Always weird. Won't find it here. Strangers, surely you remember your old partner, don't you? Viper on. I Viper on. Fighting. Well, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We've come in need of your services, neighbor. Go away! You don't understand. Your father was our hired gun. He was the best until he gave up fighting. But we need him again to capture this planet. If he refuses, you'll both be real sorry. What do you mean, capture the planet? There's like three of you. Is a fourth guy gonna... It's a planet. You can just say you conquered it. No one is just. I mean, what are you? What are you gonna do? What are you, was uh, each of you is gonna be like? You're, you'll take a hemisphere. What are you? What are you talking about? <laughs> conquer. Ah, uh, did conquer the planet. That's that's a four man job. You gotta. You gotta assume. Like, I, what, what are we gonna do? Conquer the planet with three guys? What are you with three guys? That's nonsense. That's a four man job. Conquering the planet. You know, when, all right, listen, it's a classic planet conquer job. We got Wheelie, the wheelman, Kaboom Boom, the demolitions expert, uh, Face, the master of disguise, and of course, uh, Miguel's dad, who's in charge of all the other planet stuff. <laughs> Nobody did planet stuff quite like Miguel's dad. Uh, what? 
Again. Huh. Look, I came here to talk some sense into you. This planet's being overrun by outriders. Now, if you're too stubborn to leave and take your boy to safety, you could at least help us out with some information. Sorry, amigo, but I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Besides, what would I know about outriders? I'm only a farmer. Maybe so, but you used to be a gunslinger and a good one. I've hung up my guns. I know the damage they can do. Hmm? Uh huh? I get you. Then just leave us alone. Tell that to the Outriders when you see them. Oh, what's he gonna do? You know it's gonna be cool. Oh, come on. Turn around. Do something cool. Do something cool. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. Tussle. Tussle for control of the planet. <laughs> oh my god! Dude gets, just got shot through the brain pan. Holy shit, I gotta see that again. Just. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, don't worry, they played a robot noise. knows what's up uh -huh. looks like they're right over those hills here it is <laughs> my vapor gun blaster but can I still shoot Back to his own dimension. <laughs> They're still sticking with well, the dimension you shit. Find out anything. Where are they? In a canyon nearby. If that's where they've got Miguel, then that's where I'm headed. With this. How can you fight when you can't even see well enough to shoot straight? You don't understand. I have to save my son from Viperon. He's ruthless. You don't know him like I do. How do you know him? Never mind. Just who did you work for as a hired gun? For Viperon. But that part of my life before Miguel is all behind me now. I quit when I realized what Viperon was up to. Then my eyes started going bad. We'll take care of Viperon our way. I'll call Saber Rider. We have glasses. We've definitely the held on to glasses technology. Captain. Repeat. In space Message time. for Saber Rider. I've located the Wrangler camp and I'm sending you the coordinates. Lay down some rubber, pal. Where'd you go? He went after Miguel. A history of violence. Matt Clopine, where's Miguel's mother? Oh, that senorita left long ago. Not a sign of him anywhere. They call this place the Prairie of Night, and now I know why. I just hope I find him before Viperon does, or he's gonna be in big trouble. Oh man, I forgot about Dr. Stone. I gotta catch up on that. Miguel, he's in there. Yep, it's my job to guard the boy tent. Those sentries. No, you didn't spoil. 
I made it up to the space station, then I kind of fell off. Viper on. There it is, chums. Renegade unit. Looks like this. Oh, that is a rad robot design. Oh, I can't wait till Ramrod kicks its dick in with his nipple lasers. Remember how we found out about the nipple lasers last time? That was a hell of a discovery. <laughs> Miguel, stay close now, son. Oh, that uh, that voice. Mistakes were made. have uh, eyesight issues maybe you don't love your son enough did you ever think the problem with be with going uh, with losing the precious gift of sight was that you just didn't believe in love enough reeves yes yes they they are dancing the weird like uh er elaborate dance they have to do around firearms in this show is insane <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, spray and pray. Yeah, it was. It's fine. It's fine. No, coffee is one up. He did not use the force. It's a power of love deal. He power of loved his way into trusting that the guy who was standing still and shooting at him was, if he shot in the direction of the guy standing still, he'd get shot. Mother! Hold it right there. Justin, your theory is correct. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're both all right, but you should have waited for help, like I told you. Sorry, but a man can only hide so long. Well, we're glad to have you here on our side this time, but it isn't safe here for Miguel. You better get him home now. Meanwhile, we'll take care of that renegade unit. Mm -hmm. Got to get to the ship. <laughs> Signal from Fireball. <laughs> the dude must need a lift. Well, there's the showboat now. Quickly, Fireball, there isn't a moment to lose. Fine by me. Let's let these guys know the <laughs> <laughs> That they. D wow. Okay, I know this is silly, but that they. That they have attention to detail to have him put down the jetpack so that he can comfortably sit in the ramrod pike uh cockpit thingy is such a weird just a like such a weird attention to detail just two frames of animation but still like they're like well he's got to take the jetpack off otherwise how he's going to sit in the chair It's a blink and you'll miss it thing. Five, five frames of unique animation just for that. Acknowledging navigational control on Ramrod challenge phase one. Head up, up. <laughs> Power stride, ready to run. Let's not be shy, mates. Black, I have a taste of this shooting iron. Seems they have turned up. Certainly not disappointment. 
there were two spider robots the whole time. Oh, God, why? I mean, I guess it makes sense if the strategy of sending one evil robot against Ramrod at a time didn't work, then, yeah, why not? There, why Send all of them. They clearly only have one robot and you have like a million. Yeah, yeah, no, this is sound logic. Good job, Outriders. Way to strategize. Way to min-max. Any ideas, Top Sword? No two of you, Chums. This mechanical spider will regret the tangled web it's welcome. Yeah! Nipple lasers, go! Chums, it's much too early to celebrate. you can hey wait up uh we've seen the big bad before time to move on huh? <sighs> i'm through with guns and with hiding from life and that's how miguel's father finally put his past behind him he took the little hombre to live at the frontier outpost where he became a scout a trusted advisor to the post commander and a special friend of Sable Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Yay! <laughs> nice, nice. Another thrilling episode of Sable Riders and the Star Sheriffs. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that's not the last we've seen of Miguel, the precocious sombrero child. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, this voice cast, though. Trace McNeil, everybody's. Lenny Weinrib, the, the gang's all house smith. Just a who's who of just, uh, just legendary people. Um, all right, all right. Uh, today I did some, um, some content ID, uh, shenanigans, uh, tried to track down, you know, new series to try and what we could get away with, with Abandon, and, uh, it was not, it's not looking great, um, I, uh, S Snorks is absolutely a no-go, I, I was really, I was wondering if we could pull off Snorks, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> boo -ba boo Locked in all regions. Um, I tried Sky Dancers because I thought Abrams uh, Gentilly, maybe like the whole catalog was just borked, but nope, nope. Sky Dancers is uh, is booped. But in my in my travels, in my travels, there was ooh. I still have to try Big Guy and Rusty. Uh oh my God. Go oh God, no. We are never watching another Barnyard Commandos. That was. That was a trial. That was a trial by fire. Um, no, no, no. Uh, but for uh, this week's this <laughs> classic, yeah, if like an uh, aneurysm is a classic, then yeah, Barnyard Commandos. Uh, but, but today, today uh, there was one series that I tried that uh, did go through, and I just took a bare bones look at this, just to see what's the deal, what the deal with it is, and um, the animation was 
insane. The animation was truly, uh, truly bizarre. Uh, God damn. Uh, and anybody with good suggestions, please go to twitter.com uh, slash puppet Jared and like uh, at me, DM me, do whatever you can. I, I have too much adrenaline and monster energy. I, I couldn't find Zoa this week. I'm drinking monster. Uh, I'm not going to remember all these very good suggestions. But this one, I, I think this one has promise. This one, I think, has promise. Uh, the character designs were baffling. The animation style seems really insane. Uh, this might just be the pilot. I think maybe the pilot, they just went all out. But uh, we're giving it a shot. I'm watching this fully with fresh eyes. This is Sky Surfer Strike Force. Sky Surfer Strike Force. It's apparently, it aired in um, 1995, aired for two seasons, and uh, was uh, one of the last productions of Ruby Spears production. I know, I know, I know. Um, it's, uh, but I feel like when you watch this, I mean, there's definitely, definitely, you're going to, there's going to be some things. You will be feeling things. Uh, checking the big board when last, last we addressed it, Mighty Max at $17.99. Uh, Captain Simeon, $26. Currently the winner. Currently the winner, but it's up to you. It's up to you how this is going to pan out. That's how this, you know, it's, you're, you're, you're driving the wheels of fate here on Cartoon Dumpster Thursday. Oh, God, Justin. Uh, the SWAT Cats reboot. Oh, it's going to be bad. It, there's no way it's going to be bad. Um, if the scores are tied, uh, I will just stand still until somebody, the first, the first person to donate a dollar either way <laughs> pushes it. Um, but without further ado, a new entry in the cartoon dumpster canon. This is Sky Surfer's Strike Force. When a mysterious explosion destroys an artificial intelligence lab, Adam Hollister is framed. His son, Jack Hollister, sets out to prove his father's innocence, that someone else had caused the explosion and had stolen an experimental computer brain. Okay, all right, this is already a lot. This is already a lot. Um, this is, oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't know if we're ready for this. I don't know if we're ready for this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, first of all, the animation looks incredible. The inc the animation looks okay. Are we are we? Everybody, take a deep breath. <laughs> also, thank you, Flesh Wife. Thank you, Flesh Wife. All right. Actually, let me try. What was it? Uh, Sky Surfer Strike Force, uh, by Ashi Productions, Japanese anime studio, mostly uh, known for Magical Girl anime. Uh, what did they do around the 90s? Uh, they did Macross 7, Blue Seed. Uh, a lot of stuff I've never heard of. Huh. Hmm. Actually, I was hoping for... Huh. A lot of weird shit. Not gonna lie. A lot of weird shit I've never heard of. Anyway. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're trying this again. Trying this again. Hold on to something. Just steady yourself. This is going to be, this is going to be a lot. When a mysterious explosion destroys an artificial intelligence lab, Adam Hollister is framed. His son, Jack Hollister, sets out to prove his father's innocence, that someone else had caused the explosion and had stolen an experimental computer brain. Merging it with his own brain, he transforms into the master criminal known as Cybron. To fight Cybron and his evil bioborgs, Jack Hollister becomes Sky Surfer 1, leader of the Sky Surfer Strike Force. <laughs> Crazy stunts. Slice stunts. Enforcer. Ah! Why, yay, 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 yay. Ah! One, leader of the Sky Surfer Strike Force. 
Crazy stunts. It's kind of horny. Air Enforcer. Sore loser. What? Strike Force! BKN will be right back! Hey, thanks for the follow, Johnny Me Boy. Back to BKN! Blast those suckers! There is so much goddamn style on display. Jesus. I, I was... God. God. There is so much happening. Guts, huh? Crazy stunts? Do any of these characters have names? This that's not a name. That's not a, is the like imagine you're in a schoolyard in 1995 and you're like, hey, who's your favorite uh sky surfer? And you like someone's gonna be like, oh, mine's sore loser. And the other one's gonna be like, nah, uh, crazy stunts the best. This is, this has to be like pilot animation. This is like, this was, this, if it didn't get picked up as a series, this was like the VHS that came with the toys. think they're beating Cybron. But they're in for a big surprise, aren't they, Father? Oh my God! How horny is this show? This is, I mean, besides, like, the everybody is, like, half naked. 
this this girl this lady is doing some real Eartha Kit shit to with her cyber dad. God damn. <laughs> Navigator Black, I gotta head out to a funeral. Oh my god, I am sorry, but what a what a weird uh, thing to leave on. Uh, whatever you do, uh, if it's anyone asks while you're at the funeral, they're like, hey, what have you been watching lately? I'm going to have to implore you to lie your ass off. Do not mention anything that has happened <laughs> that you have witnessed in the past 50 minutes here on this stream. Yes, indeed, Serena. That was only a warm-up for what I have planned for them when I take control of Computopia. Mr. Garland, Jack Hollister and his people have just arrived. We came as soon as I got your message. Thank you, Jack. No thanks needed. Without your financing, there would be no Sky Surfers. How can we help? So you think Cybron is going to attack your experimental city? Yes, it's the city of the future. Talk about wipeouts. He could turn this entire island into one deadly kahuna. Suppose Cybron gained control of the city's digitized defense systems. Then what? I've already started worrying about that possibility. It's time for Computopia to feel the power of Cybron. Ready the bioborgs. Yes, Father. Laserette, this is Serena. Launch, attack. I'm on my way. Why is it a bird? Why does it have a big dumb bird beak? I'm locking on the coordinates of target. We'll guide you. Look at these fucking cartoon ass bad guys. We got clown cyclops. Uh uh techno futurist boy and big grenade just just a grenade just a grenade with a face you win. thank you Elizabeth. first phase of mission completed no resistance good boy i'll be above to monitor procedures down there the main control room Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Grenade guy, we hardly knew you. What's he is he just going to come back like that like enough like he didn't just slow hump a door and extend and blow up and die. <laughs> I swear in the next shot he's just going to be like, "Hey guys, hey guys, I'm back." Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to see this. This is, oh, the booty on him. Ooh, he thick. He thicky. Oh, God. Oh, my. Also, what this hand, everything about this shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cybron's bioboards. Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. oh, he has a fourth eye. Do we see this? He has a fourth eye in the back of his head. He's a quadclops. A quadclops is what we're dealing with. Okay, okay. Code on the master control computer per plan. Good. And as soon as you're done there, proceed to the sub basement level. Serena out. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security breach in Civic Center. Code blue. Cyber. My day's just been made. It's time to kick hind end. It's time to kick hind end. Jesus. Jesus, Lord, Savior of humanity, please save me from, from this. Oh, my God. Fit, he has an eye on his chest, too? Okay, we're, well, okay, we're up to pentaclops. Do we get a sex clops? Oh, man. Oh man. Note to self. Write down the name Sexclops and hire a horny artist to commission that. 
Um, si- oh, 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 of course, Jennifer already, already doing the, uh, the research. Uh, Replicon, Serena, Grenader, Laserette, Noxious, Chronozoid, and Zachariah Easel. Weird. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sex, it's, it's, it's uh, mono, duo, trio, quad, uh, penta, sexa, septa, octo, nana, uh, uh, deca. Yeah, I got I, I know my prefixes. I know my prefixes. No, T.W. Wern, we're doing vampires next. Uh, and then after vampires, depending on which one of the, uh, the two dono bars is uh, filled up fatter, uh, it's either going to be Captain Simeon or Mighty Max. <laughs> one hypnotic sex clops definitely has one more eye somewhere. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Come on, face capture. Ca- get Do the wink. Eh, there we go. There we go. That's ha ha. Yow, yow. Wow, wow. All right. Uh, this is going to be some insane henshin animation. So uh, wipe your eyeballs clean and get ready to witness this stuff. <laughs> God, those abs! He looks so doofy. The it literally is magical girl shit. This they they literally are just doing like magical girl animation shots for some GI Joe ass designs, and it's perplexing to look at. It's gen it's rocking my brain. Is this the female gaze? Do I finally understand Magical Mike's Kane the Citizen? Line of the night. Line of the night. Magical Mike's. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, Kane, Kane, mwah, mwah, well done, well done, very good, respect. <laughs> uh, very Centurions, yeah, shit. God, I loved Centurions as a kid. Whoa, hacha cha cha. What sword? That was the horniest shot. Just the little missile dicks just going, going, bugoing. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Monitoring the attack. Sore loser. Crazy stunts. You and the others head to the Civic Center and tackle the Borgs. I'll zero in on the Cyberhawk. Hey, babe. Nice to see you again. 
The feeling ain't mutual. Now, what do you and the rest of Cybron's boards want here? Talk, or it's lasers out for good, babe. It's already too late to stop our plan. See, Noxious and the others have already fixed it, so that only we can control the master computer. And he who controls the master computer controls the city. If that's Cybron's only objective, where are they going? Obviously, you guys have another agenda. in half with a goddamn boomerang, man. Oops, my mistake. Thanks, guys. That could have been one big wipeout. Looks like we lost Noxious. Where's Air and Sliced Ice? They went after Grenader. Sliced Ice? This is it. Oh, what's this thing? No, don't shoot. Please, son. Mama? <laughs> what? what? That's his power? <laughs> his son? Wait, how does he know what his mom looks like? Is it a psychic thing? What is happening? What? <laughs> what? God! Oh, oh, I had a feeling. Folks, I had a feeling about this one. I had, and I, and I'm vindicated. <laughs> oh, come on there, oh, oh, little, little, little Sky Surfy, don't, don't shoot your mom. You wouldn't shoot your own mom, would you, Pumpkin? Huh? <laughs> and and oh, honey, 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 bear child, this is my friend, Grenader. Don't shoot Grenader. Me and Grenader are in the same mahjong group. <laughs> no, Enforcer! It's just one of his hypnotic illusions. He's a telepath, remember? He just peeked into your mind to find out what your mom looks like. <laughs> I love Grenader! Ah, Grenader is the best character! Why did you even bother with the mama thing? If you just run it, you can explode at will and not suffer any. Just, just, Grenader OP. <laughs> that should hold our friends for a while. Now we've got work to do. What, what, I'm sorry. What is, what is her, this, what? God, God damn. for a while. Now we've got work to do, and we'll take care of those two for good. Sote, uh, Sote 86. Hello, Mada. Hello, Fada. Here I am at Camp Grenader. Love it. Love it. You get me. <laughs> that, that joke was exactly my level. KN will be right back. Now back to our show. Oh shit! Chris Hagman donating ten dollars. That was the Streamlabs donate, so that goes. Enjoy your Zoa. Enjoy your Zoa, Chris. Uh, that means uh, Captain Simeon now sitting at a pretty thirty-six. Not looking good for Mighty Max. Can they? Can he recover? Do we get the return of Rob Paulson? Or do we get Damarera Spider Monkey? <laughs> Torgo, god damn it, Torgo, with the follow-up Simpsons quote. Marge, is Lisa at Camp Grenader? 
amazing. Amazing. Uh, Adam Hollister's VR helmet. Cybron will be very pleased we found it. <sighs> Man, Grenada sure packs a wallet. Going somewhere. Whoa. Watch out. What do you think? Could be. Right. It was an illusion. But it gave him time to get away. Ah! Hold it, guys. We're on your side, remember? What is this place? I think I know. It's the ruins of my dad's old lab. This is where he did his research on artificial intelligence. Maybe this has something to do with it. I love that, like, an Oculus Quest 2 is a third of the size of that clunky thing. God, man. I got to get a 3D avatar, man. I got to be Puppet Jared in fucking VR chat. Got to walk amongst the horny anime ladies and giant photorealistic bug models. This is a conversation for a later time. How could you let him get his hands on the helmet? Precisely what you were supposed to prevent. But Cybron... Enough. Into your chains. One may not know the significance of the helmet. He'll know. And once Sky Server One learns how to use it, he's sure to discover my original human identity. We must set a trap for him. Destroy him so that the knowledge dies with him. We've tried that before, Father, but he always managed to escape. True, but I've long suspected that Sky Server One is the son of the man who invented the helmet. If that theory proves correct, it shall mean Sky Surfer's undoing. I've never seen a VR helmet like this one before. It's an experimental prototype, something Dad was working on in his spare time before. The explosion? Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was my 21st birthday, but Dad couldn't get away, so he invited me out to the lab to celebrate. At first, it seemed like everyone in the facility was wiped out. The entire AI research team, security guards, everyone. Vaporized without a trace. But this may prove once and for all that my father wasn't to blame. You see, it can record images taken directly from the wearer's memory and replay them. What? Right now, I'm, I'm seeing everything Dad saw that day. It's like I'm right there with him. Take off the helmet. There's a call for you on the Digitran monitor. And you'd better take it sitting down. I'm afraid you're in for another shock. He says his name is Adam Hollister. Dad? Hello, son. Dad, after all this time, can it really be you? How? And where have you been? I'll only discuss that with Jack privately. I have evidence against Cybron here, where I've been hiding out. I don't trust him. He was wearing villain boots. Uh, also, we're doing vampires next. With the the solemn and final vampires is next. Yeah. Hold on. Where was that pan? I'll only discuss that with Jack privately. I have bum bum bum. Villain boots. I have evidence against Cybron here, where I've been hiding out. But it's stored on discs that can only be read with the one working prototype of the VR helmet. That one. I want to arrange a meeting, son, and bring the helmet with you. Hang on a second, Dad. I'm telling you, it could be a trap. What if it's not your dad? Yeah, but what if it is my dad? Okay, but we'll track you on the monitor with our Digitrans. This 
this way. Dad, can't we talk first? There's so much to say. <laughs> Not now, son. We'll talk later. Just follow me. Man, they just cut right to the chase, huh? Also, where's his... I wish I could say I'm surprised. <laughs> Paid for that transformation animation. We're gonna fucking use it. Ah, let's go. Something's wrong with the Digitrans. Brad, do you read? Not the Digitrans? My Digitrans on the blink. You're not half as tough as Cybron thought. Whoa! Look at that anime ass bad guy. A virus detected. And it spread to all our Digitrans. Only Cybron could have done this. Without the Digitrans, we'll never find Scott. The Jack's got trouble, man. Big time. And last, we need Scott Server. Or should I say, Jack Hollister? Don't tell me. Let me guess. I have less than five minutes to live, right? How did you know? So, the robot has a daughter. This spooky lady. And she has literally the exact same hair as the main character. And the main character... His dad died in the explosion that birthed the villain right yeah there's it's it's gotta be yeah yeah avril everybody's calling it they've telegraphed this thing we're do we're doing a vader we're doing a luke even though the line luke i am your father never existed in the movie whatever uh yeah yeah if it's not if they're honestly like not doing this after telegraphing everything I will plot. I will poo-poo and pee-pee live on stream. I have all the animation assets already loaded, and that's going to be the rest of the stream. I don't think your father likes me. It seems a shame to waste him, father. Couldn't we make use of it? Wow. Wow, they really are doing a Star Wars. <laughs> Instead, perhaps as a bioborg. Mm -hmm. An interesting idea, Serena. Very well. But his memory and the threat it poses to me must be obliterated. Observe. The memory monitor will visualize Sky Surface recollections as they are erased from his mind, so that we can be sure the threat is wiped out. The cops. Wait, but you wait, but you'll also erase the memory of me kissing my sister, right? Wikipedia nobody likes it. Hold on. Well, now I got a pee and poo poo everywhere. Please hold. Okay, and I'm done. Um No. No. Obviously the show was canceled before they could do the big twist. They are absolutely, absolutely. What do you mean? Oh, don't worry. That's the robot's daughter. Who's the robot's mom? Who did he robot uh, knock up with his robot dick? It's closed your case today, Dad. They said you planted the bomb. Can you believe it? To cover up your crime. They claim you were trying to steal the artificial intelligence brain. The one you worked all your life to develop. Something went wrong. You supposedly got caught in your own blast. That's right. It was like he had a computer for a brain. The cops didn't see any connection between the accident and this guy, Cybron. But I'm sure Cybron's brain is what my dad was working on. A computer that thinks for itself. I know you were framed, Dad. And I'll prove it. I swear it. The police won't help me. So maybe... Maybe I should adopt another identity. Well, Mr. Holland. 
Alistair. Your career with the Sky Surfer Strike Force has come to an end. Well, I've managed to debug my own Digitrans. But if Sky's still disabled, how do we find him? It's obvious. The VR helmet. The power pad gives off an electromagnetic field. Maybe I can home in on that frequency. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. All I have to do is track down everything nearby that uses a battery. Skysurfer should be a mental vegetable within the next few minutes. Not them. Not yet. Serena, destroy that element. Now. No way, girlfriend. I'm sorry, did the blue guy just put on a gun helmet? Who Justin, how can you say this is boring? How there was there was uh definitely canonical incest, there was a murder revenge plot, there was bullshit science. Not them. And then gun face. Serena, destroy that helmet. No. No way, girlfriend. at the swim. Thanks for saving the city's sky surface. I'm just sorry you lost the helmet and the chance to uncover who Cybron really is. Yes, all I recall of what... The helmet showed me was that shadowy figure with a strange flash of light on its chest. And that's the only clue we've got to Cybron's identity. And for now, it'll have to be enough. Spears, goddamn. Ruby Spears. Hmm? Oh, I'm seeing people talk about audio being wonky. Uh, my levels look all right. And YouTube says stream health is healthy. Oh, it just got an error. It just got an error, but now it's back. Okay. Okay. I see what's. All right. Sorry about that. Seems to be okay now. Not sure why that happened. Um, mm. But we're back. We're back. We're ready. We're strong. And it happens simultaneously on Twitch and uh, on Twitch and YouTube. So maybe it was the service that I'm using. Who knows? Hey! Thanks for following, Sote. Sote. 
Soth 86. Love me them follows. Okay, all right. But uh, that was Sky Surfers Strike Force. And just to confirm, just so I can see, uh, let's see, let's try later in the season. The animation has to drop off a total cliff, right? Like, there's no way. Ooh. Ooh, is it is my internet all right? Huh. Well. Well, that's weird. No, there it goes. Say goodnight. Team City will create. I don't know. That's pretty good. Still looks good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. It's getting... I'm holding off for... I'm turning off my Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Hold on, everyone. Hold on. I'm holding up. Hold on. It's still here. Yeah, no, something something got crazy on my computer. Is my GPU overheating? No, G computer feels nice and cool. Hmm. Hmm. Everybody's saying we're back, and I, I want to believe them. Twitch is still uh, saying I'm, I'm being a little... Hmm. Let's just, let's just be, let's just, relax. let's just uh, hold on for a hot second. Hmm. Hmm. Kane the Citizen says, this is what happens when you drink Monster and not Zoa. Dangerous, but true. Damn it. What is happening here? What am I running? What am I running that's? Tanking my internet. Hmm. It's not receiving enough data. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I am uh, hoping to jump through whatever weird service this is. Oh. That is a shame. Hmm. I'm I'm pulling all the stops. I'm lowering the render of uh, my puppet guy just to like see if like my computer resources is what's happening. I'm doing power to try and fix this. Hmm. 
Mm. Respect to everyone that is still holding on. Hmm. I have no idea what's causing this. I can only assume. All right, that's good. We're liking that. Hmm. And my upload speed is pretty all right. Hmm. What is happening here? Drop frames still 85%. God damn. I'm just dropping frames. Hmm. Hmm. Am I throttling? Am I throttling? System resources look fine. I'm not at a... Am I... Is... C, uh, my CPU was going a little gaga. And my GPU usage is high. But uh, I'm not out of RAM. I really don't know what the issue is. Hmm. Hmm. It is not a curse. It is not a vampire's curse. Let me check uh, YouTube. Am I still not receiving enough info? Still, hmm, hmm. Why is this, what is going on here? It can't be the curse of Trucula. I refuse. I refuse the curse of Trucula. My bit rate is abysmal, though. My bit rate is terrible. Hmm. All right, all right. I'm trying a few more things. What if I just just put my fan curve up to a million? Just blast my goddamn GPU with air until it just refuses to do anything else. Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if that that can't that can't be it. Mm hmm. Bit rate still shit on Twitch. Huh? Wait. Did that? No. Nope. Nope. Bit rate still bad. Oh oh God! Is it okay now? Is it, is it, did we do it? I'm using a GPU encoder and it feels like because it's the bit rate that might, I think that, oh my God. Oh my God. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. 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 Let me check. A few m and everything is back. Or at the very least, uh, Twitch is green again. And uh, stream status is good. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. All right. All right, I'm letting it ride. Stream health is back at excellent on YouTube, and I'm back in the green on Twitch. Bitrate is back up. I think we made it through the storm. I think we made it through the storm. Whew, 
That was uh, that was a little touch and go. The cur <laughs> literally the actor. Hey, Square Brap, thanks for the sub. Um, gonna take a sip of uh, not Zoa. Ah, it was the curse. I I named Van Hilsing, and he sought his revenge on me. That's absolutely what happened. I, 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 I toiled where I was forbidden to go. I committed a sin too grand, and I was punished for it. So we made it through every episode. This is the last one, episode 13, Uncool Fuel. And w there's been highs and lows. I mean, honestly, there's really almost nothing left to say after the, uh, <laughs> there's nothing left to say after the uh, interview with Jason that we did. I feel like there's, there's no more things left to conquer. And now, now we just got to appreciate what we had and say farewell to uh, maybe one of the most truly unique and singular experiences in the history of children's entertainment. They did, you know, we a meteor. Uh, they had uh, evil construction equipment. We Episode 5, Child Bride. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Don't say it's acting up again. Don't say that. Fuck! God damn. God, yeah, I'm seeing it on my screen too. Why, why is this happening? No, well, nope. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on. Come on, Schwartz. My GPU is 44 degrees. It's not overheating. What is, why is my CPU going gaga? What do I have running? What is running that shouldn't be running? Everything seems fine. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Hmm. I can't give up. I can't give this up. Hold on. Let me let me play some jaunty tunes. While we while we while we hack away at this. It's not the fa it's not fate itself stopping us. We are we are not there is, is not some kind of magical curse acting against us. <laughs> oh hey Reeves, thanks for the sub. <laughs> or the Oh, sub. Thank you for the sub. Sorry, I, I thought that meant YouTube subscription, but no, you uh, subbed on Twitch. Thank you. That's very nice. What a very supportive, nice thing to do in the midst of all this bullshit. Bit rates back to 800K. That's so silly. That's so silly and bad. All right, all right. I'm shutting this down, shutting this down. Everything's gotta go. I'm not mining Bitcoin. Why is the song I'm playing? It's more foreboding. Hey, so thank you guys, uh, also for the Twitch sub. God damn. There we go. That's a better track while we... 
Oh no. Oh God. All right. All right. Writing this out. Come on, digital technology. Come on, computers. Is my cat like sleeping on the router? No. Speed test worked just fine. Not receiving enough video information. Ah. Uh, it's looking all right. It's looking okay. No. Wait. Is this okay? Come on, stream status update. Tell me we're doing all right. Ah, uh, we're losing viewers. Ah, uh, now it's even worse than, wait. Are we there? Are we there? Is this happening? My, uh, you, if you saw my, uh, YouTube dashboard, it would be a nightmare. Oh, shit. Thank you for the follow, AJ, uh, JPEG. Stream health is back to excellent. I'm going to tempt fate. I'm going to, I'm going to tempt fate. No, no, now it's, I, I don't, mm. this feels so out of my hands. Tanking for reasons that I still cannot conceive of. Hmm. Drop frames, drop frames, drop frames. Thanks, thanks, Streamlabs. Are you going to tell me why? Are you going to tell me how? Are you going to... And I can't change my output while... I'm not even streaming at that high of a bit rate. Oh, my God. John, you missed... Uh, you're, you're missing... I can't change it while I'm actively streaming. I don't want to restart everything. I hate restarting everything. Why do I feel like... I wonder if this is on Streamlabs' side. Because I'm using the multi-stream. Oh man, if Streamlabs is the one messing with me, I'm gonna be upset. Um, 
I am going to stop this stream. Go back to a uh, YouTube exclusive and see if it was if that was the issue. So I'm going to stop this. There's going to be a new stream on the YouTube channel. It's going to be called True End of Vampires. And um, everybody over on Twitch, I'm going to need you to hop over to YouTube. And we'll see if that's what's happening. All right? Godspeed. God bless. And I'm really sorry about this. I hope this fixes it. Because we have to close this chapter, even if it kills us. See you guys in a sec. <laughs>